since I posted up a video and those clips that you just saw there was from last weekend we took a little mini vacation to Panama Beach and I did have some uh, uh, things planned but we just up and decided that we was going to go down there and have a little fun so but appreciate each and every one of you guys again like I said I know it's been a little bit since I posted but um, I I'm still here I ain't went nowhere um, the next clips that you're getting ready to see is going to be some of the jobs that I've completed in the past two weeks. Not all of them, just some of them. I will talk about them. I will go over them. We'll discuss them. Um, I am, uh, got a lot of stuff that I recorded. I got it in the editing process, getting ready to put it out for you guys. We're going to be talking about refrigerators. Also, I got a couple more notes that I'm going to uh, put out there about dishwashers. Um, if you're not already a part of my channel, go on and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and go on and check it out and become a part of my email list. But um, this is David with DC Appliance Repair. Good to uh, see, be back with you guys again, and I'll see you in the next clip. What we have here was a Samsung refrigerator. I had to install the uh, ice maker service kit in it. It was freezing up. You'll see me defrost it. I do have full footage of this. You won't see it here, but I'll have it in the next video. So the next unit here was the complaint was the center burner and the right back burner was not lighting. Took the took the racks off and clean the igniter and clean the top of the burner and it went back to working successfully. Alright, so here's your tip of the day. I'm gonna be showing you why this spray arm was causing a dishwasher to leak water. All right, so real quick, wanted to talk with you. This is a spray arm you just saw in the last clip. This is a spray arm off a dishwasher. And uh, this particular spray arm, it has the little gears in it. There, as you can see, it has the little gears that sets in on top of the, where the water comes out. And, and this is what turns it. And at a turn, you know, as the water pressure makes it spin, and spray the water okay so this particular dishwasher was leaking when I got there to the unit um, the door seal was damaged also so I replaced the door seal you know and I did all the things that I was supposed to do on a dishwasher by checking making sure that you know the the it was tilted back just a little bit all you know all the precautionaries well <clears throat> went back because uh, it did fix the leak for a little bit but it still had a small little leak and with the new seal on there, I was like, what in the world? So double check everything. And actually I pulled this off and ran it through the sink. And these holes, some of these holes, you you know, you can't tell it by looking at it. Uh, some of these holes are just, just clogged up. And it could be by food, it could be from water contaminants, different things like that. But what happens is, is these little holes that get clogged and it'll cause water pressure to spray spray out harder in certain areas like it may not be spraying here but since these holes are clogged but it's going to be spraying even harder here so what it was doing is every time when it come around 
you could hear it and it spray that water and that seal could hold it because it was it was spraying unevenly causing the dishwasher to leak so quick tip there see you next one you hear that fan kicking on and off like that yeah. all right guys so we're going to be replacing this main little boy right here on this unit uh Actually, you can see like your thermostat, everything goes through this uh, little board right here. And this is what's causing the issue. There's a relay burn up on it. I've seen this several times, so I didn't really have to go into many diagnosis, but we know that this is what's going on. Got a running back like supposed to now, boys. Go in there and replace that board. All right, so one more tip. I was going through uh, some of my pictures and I saw this. A lot of times you'll pull up on a refrigerator and especially the French door refrigerators, they'll have an issue with the door seal. There'll be a little gap. In between the door seal and humidity is getting in there and it's causing a lot of ice build up around the door, you know, not, not cooling properly. And so I have found a little tip to uh, fix some seals. You can't fix them all, but a lot of, I have fixed many seals by getting my steamer and actually, you'll see here in the next clip, taking the steamer and actually heating up that seal and cleaning it, heating it, heating it up and fluffing it back out and it actually sealing back up properly. Um, I fixed the mini on like this. Now sometimes there is an issue in the door, sometimes there is an issue in the rails, but a lot of times that seal has just got pinched and you can heat that baby up and flex it back out and it'll work just fine. Another quick tip for the day, this is the last one in this video. Leave me a thumbs up. See you in the next video. So this French door refrigerator was under the manufacturer warranty, so that voids the home warranty. So I had to stop working on it. I assisted the customer in getting the certified technician out there under the Frigidaire to complete the repair. So here I installed this water valve on this refrigerator and I like to utilize my cell phone and by recording to make sure there's no leaks because I needed to go to the front and hit the water dispenser and make the ice maker call for ice. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, we call this a late night special. This was a late night emergency call. The tenants actually had the door off the hinges and the evaporator fan motor went out. So I actually had this one on the truck, got it fixed, fixed the door, took care of them. This is a Samsung washer with an intermittent start button. I've been seeing a lot of these on the washer and the dryers on these particular models. In order to fix the issue, we had to replace the user interface control board. This is where the button is located. This is one of the boards that you have to release the tabs and actually get it off the back part of the main board. Well, it's just, but we get it. All right, guys, check this out. Nothing. Nada. Okay, I open up the door. I hold the switch, and the ice will start to work and the water will start to dispense. But when you shut the door, it don't function. So we swapped out a door switch and this fixed the issue on this uh, refrigerator. Good deal. You wanna know what the Econex like? I'll show you what it's like, man. On an 85, you know? I get asked sometimes, what do we charge to install microwaves and dishwashers? Microwaves and dishwashers is 125 and that includes haul off. Had a Frigidaire dishwasher, had to install the drain pump on. Pretty easy fix here.
Here was a frigid or French door refrigerator with a defrost issue. Installed a new user interface control panel in this microwave. Had an LG uh, washer. The complaint was is that it was leaking water. We see these pretty common in these LG washers. We changed the water valve. Um, here is an infinite switch we changed on a oven range. It was causing the unit to just stay on all the time. A um, few more jobs we had here. Rusted up, uh, dryer, a uh, few defrost issues in refrigerators. Installed a control board on a dishwasher. Here is a circulation pump I changed on a Samsung dishwasher also. So hey, if you've made it this far, I'd like to say thank you for uh, watching my video. I hope you enjoyed the content. I hope you enjoyed the information that I'm bringing out there. If you are, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Uh, ask any kind of question about appliance repair related. I'll be sure to get back with you in the comments. I appreciate all my people that's a part of the channel already. Appreciate the support you guys give me. And this is David with DC Appliance Repair, and I'll see you in the next video.